In this video, I'd like to showcase how NetEdit can help with Day2 data center fabric operations. NetEdit is the centralized management tool for AOS CX switches. Network admins can utilize NetEdit to deploy configurations that change frequently. These could be VLANs, SVIs, LAGs, or even VXLAN tunnels between the leaf switches in a data center. And the config block would be applicable across multiple switches. It could be 10, 20, 2, or more. NetEdit can help analyze and validate those config changes, and it allows the network admin to back out of those changes easily if something went wrong. Let's start by logging to NetEdit. This is the dashboard and devices, I4, two leaves and two spines. Let's start by creating a plan for the two leaves, edit running config, give it a name, create a plan. This is what the config looks like for both switches. You can see host name, you right click, it can specify the unique values. Same for the management IP. Those in blue will be the unique values. Those in white are the common configs on both switches. Next, I'd like to add a VLAN, a new VLAN, 13, on both leaves. I'm going to modify the lag snicks at 13. Next, I'd like to modify the VXLAN phase with VNI 13 and VLAN 13. Now, I'll add VLAN 13 into the EVPN section. As you can see, tab, autocomplete, is all available in NetEdit. It prompts you for the command, and you can select it. There's no need to memorize the configs. Key in the configs for both switches. It's done. And we can actually compare. Look at the differences before and after. So the green shows what we plan to push down to the switches and what was changed, right? So we're happy. We can deploy the plan and it gets pushed down to the switches. Currently in deploying state, deployment in progress. After some time, it should complete. And let's do change validation next. You see the ones in green, those are the changes. So if I expand EVPN, for example, you see the new MAC addresses learn because of VNI 13, VLAN 13. These are now learned. Same for interface VXLAN. Let's take a look at MAC addresses next. You can see the changes due to the configs. New MAC addresses were learned, right? Because of VNI 13 addition. And if the network admin determined there was something wrong, he could easily roll back. Remove the commands from the running config and make further changes to the desired plan. NetEdit can also be used to validate configuration conformance and minimize config related outages. In this example, we're going to add a new leaf tree into the fabric. Let's take a look at the conformance. We have MTU, we created MTU conformance, basically stating large MTU must exist on interfaces as a best practice. Let's add a new switch, add a device, 
div3 IP address, add the credentials in, and it will utilize REST API to communicate with the switch. Now that the leaf tree has been added, let's take a look. You see two errors for conformance. Let's create a plan. Give it a name. Create the plan. And you see highlighted in red, MTU, large MTU must exist on both the uplinks of the leaf switch. So the network admin can go in, make the changes, which is considered a best practice, large MTU, right? And you can see the error goes away immediately. It's so real time. So no more errors on that switch. Next, I would like to summarize NetEdit's validation capabilities. So we saw that it could validate semantics, as in, you could check if the command was spelled correctly. If you type V-A-L-N instead of VLAN, it will highlight in red. And if you type V-L-A, it will give you the option, right? what was the correct command to complete. Next, we saw that NetEdit could provide conformance validation, as in, does the config conflict with your organization's best practices? In our case, we showed large MTU. When it wasn't configured, there was an error highlighted. NetEdit also does device validation. If you configure something that is not valid on the switch, it would fail the validation. So in this example, it's a 32 port switch. If you try to configure interface 11100, it does not exist. Right? So it fails the validation. So most importantly, all these checks happen before you make a change to the network. So it really helps the network admin minimize errors. You've also seen the change validation capabilities of NetEdit, where it does a before and after comparison of the state of the network after you deploy the config changes. Finally, I'd like to show you how NetEdit is more than just configuration management. It can help the network admin with upgrading software on multiple switches. Let's change firmware, create a plan, give it a name, click create. Select the desired image, and select it. And choose to deploy to the primary or secondary slots or, or even to reboot it after deploy. You can actually see the primary and second current primary and secondary versions of software on each switch and choose deploy. So after some time, they're all complete and deploy successfully.